So the internet calls Masca the most beautiful village in Tenerife. In this video, I'm going to be taking you there. We're going to be cycling the roads around there. And we're going to be seeing what it's all about. So we start our day off with a quick tan line check. Yes, all present and correct. I better put some sun cream on those. Then we get our bikes ready and we head out for an early start to get on the road, knowing that Masca, being probably one of the longest rides we're gonna do, is right in the northwest tip of the island of Tenerife. You wanna get there early, ideally, so I set my train of Alm Cycles riders to work to get us out there as quickly as possible. We headed out on the coastal road to Santiago del Tidi, uh, up the well over one hour climb to get there. Uh, before stopping at various petrol stations along the way for refueling. We actually had a really nice early morning sunrise to look forward to. Uh, it was cool, it was shaded on the first big climb of the day. And as we got towards the top, it was very misty. A bit of a bad, bad omen in my, in my book. I thought this would be a bad situation to be in if Masca is completely shaded. However, we descended the other side and we're treated to one of the most spectacular views. You wouldn't believe. Um, it almost doesn't look real. It looks AI generated. So I thought I would include a bit of the descent of this, uh, of this tremendous view. Uh, it's such a, I guess, broken road, but I know the guys were saying they couldn't really enjoy it as much because the road was so like messed up that they couldn't enjoy the view as much. Uh, I have come up this road in the past and I highly recommend doing it. Uh, it takes you down onto the coast uh, of that northwest side uh, of the island. And there is another way down, but this way down is probably the quietest uh, it's the most direct, I suppose, and straightforward as well. You know, if you if you don't mind heights, I'm not a fan of them, but if you can uh, get by that and get down this, then you will be rewarded with those spectacular views. At the very bottom, we actually made a friend uh, at our cafe. Now, this side of the island, I would say, is very much more rural than many other parts of Tenerife that we were used to. Uh, we met a friend, like new bird, said hello, 80 posts for a photo, which was actually a video, uh, epic fail. And then we made our way up straight away out of the cafe towards uh, Masca itself. Now you have to climb back up, unfortunately, um, to get towards Masca. We then have to descend down into Masca and then back up. The, the actual climb, which is about four kilometers at almost 10%, which is the climb that, that really we were preparing for all day. Um, so we get in formation once again, and we hit the road, and we're climbing up through the clouds, uh, which eventually break away when we get over the crest uh, and into this little false flat before you get to Masquerade itself. Now, the the scenery changes massively. It's very green. Uh, it's very King Kong, Jurassic Park-esque. I'm sure you can agree. Um, it was chaos there, though. Uh, there's cars everywhere. There's, you know, higher cars. There's um, there's people hiking. It's an incredible place. There's, there's loads going on. There's lots to see. And in the village itself, it's, it's, it's bustling. However, we were there to ride up this hill. When I got to the top, which you will see in a moment, it was incredibly windy just over the top, and the last kilometer was very exposed. But the views you get, I think, are one of the best views of a cycling climb uh, in the world, frankly. Um, now, I haven't seen that many in real life, but I've certainly seen plenty of photos and Masca is one of those that definitely ranks highly on that list. So I tried for a bit of an effort up the climb, uh, you know, zigzagging between cars, but we got it done, caffeinated from that early cafe stop, which was ideal timing, to be honest. And we all reached the top eventually, 
we descended only the one kilometre down to the other side, which, funny enough, that one kilometre climb is, uh, well, has the KOM is held by Vincenzo Nibali. Um, and the KOM up the, the actual side, the four kilometre side, is held by Remco Evnepol. So, I mean, you know, some some good riders have been around here, no doubt. And after we stopped at the petrol station, we rolled back down, back into Santiago del Tidi, back onto the rolling road, and back home to our nice swimming pool and the local pub, of which I had a Coca-Cola, of course. But you get the idea. So there ends a wonderful day of cycling, summed up in a very short space of time, I do agree, but I really didn't know what to do with this video. I've been putting it off for over a week or so, and I tell you why, because when you go on a cycling trip and you don't have to be making videos like I do, like you can be making like videos for your mates and you want to share them on the WhatsApp group or something. But like going back to the footage and, and reminiscing about you know, such a nice time, it's always really hard and you know it's the last video, like for me, this is the last one from Tenerife. And it makes me a little bit sad and I don't want to open the files and look at it and make the video because I want to make it last and I want to know that you know, it's it's sad that this is the last one. Um, and it's weird because I know there's plenty more adventures and plenty more things we, we can do, right? But it's just one of those, I guess, human nature things that you kind of want to hold on to it. And that's why it's taken me a little bit longer to get this one out. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the little Tenerife series. I've been seeing your comments underneath the other videos, and it's definitely given you the inspiration to get out there and ride yourselves. But also, a lot of you have been there over the last couple of weeks, and are watching to reminisce as well. So, thank you so much for watching. Plenty more to come, including Battle on the Beach in a couple of weeks. The epic sand race, which myself and Charlie are doing, amongst... Brin, Amir, and a couple of others too. So I will catch you in the build-up to that. Take care, I'll see you next time.